note before we start, we're going to start the press conference talking about conference uh, affiliation issues. Following that, Coach Wright will stand the podium to talk about today's game and any uh, player requests about today's game, including from Mike Sheridan, and we'll get that set up for you. So we have with us uh, Director of Athletics Vince DeCastro, University President Father Peter Donahue, and Head Mass Basketball Coach Jay Wright. I'll turn it over to uh, Father Peter Donahue. Good evening, and thank you all for coming. Um, I should preface all of this by saying we have a service tonight at 7 o'clock for the victims of the Connecticut shooting, which I have to attend. And so um, I may have to leave, but I will leave it in their capable hands if you have any further questions. I want to take a moment to address yesterday's news, and uh, I'm sure all of you are well aware of what has happened over the course of the last 24 hours plus. Um, but St. John's, Georgetown, Providence, uh, Seton Hall, and <coughs> ourselves, Marquette and DePaul, have decided to carve out a new basketball tradition for ourselves. Uh, this is a tradition that is based on long-standing rivalries between all of our institutions. We believe it was an important move for us to kind of take charge of our own destiny, to move um, our basketball prominence forward and to really commit to strengthening all our athletic programs. Uh, we are very excited about this possibility. We are very excited about the move. And as we chart the course of this conference in the future, we are looking for uh, continuing to strengthen our, not only our reputation, national reputation, but also our academic reputation, as well as our athletic reputation. All of the seven schools worked very hard on coming to this decision. Uh, it was a lot of hours of negotiating and back and forth, and uh, through the support of all of the presidents of the university, as well as the Board of Trustees of Villanova University, the administration, uh, and many uh, people who offered me their opinions by way of email and blogging, um, we have come to this decision to move forward with this new uh, basketball-centric <coughs> conference. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, Vince and Jay will answer any questions unless you have questions for me. Technically, Aaron, uh, through the bylaw process, we have, uh, we're committed through this year plus two more, so we'd be committed through June 30 of 2015. Vince, is that non-negotiable or is that firm or what? You know, uh, that's the way the bylaws read, I think, um, and I'll just mention this. There are a lot of details and issues that need to be worked out over time, so you may have questions about those. I think we premature days to talk about specifics related to those, but I think that will be one of the things that will certainly come up in the discussion as we move forward. Do you have to pay that to the and if so, how much? No, the, uh, Terry, the, uh, the bylaws, uh, we were able to exercise a provision in the bylaws that allow us to leave as a group of seven, and there are no withdrawal penalties or withdrawal fees as part of that. What opportunities will you need to, I guess, do you need to take up whatever league you're expected to go into? I'm sorry? Opportunities. What opportunities are you looking well, I think the, the biggest thing for us is the ability to, to control our destiny and control our futures. I think that was the overriding factor. Uh, I can speak for Villanova on that is, you know, we're in a very <coughs> unique time in intercollegiate athletics. As you all know, uh, there's been a tremendous amount of uh, chaotic reorganization and, and consolidation in our business. And uh, we just felt it was time to be able to work together as a group to be able to control our destiny moving forward. Well, Don, you know, along those lines, one tipping point I understand so many things have happened so many schools have come and gone but at some point you were against it at some point before it so what was the what was the tipping point in your mind I think the tipping point in, in the mind of all seven of us was as um, the school most recent departure of Louisville and Rutgers uh, there was a concern on all of our part about where the conference was heading and um, how it where basketball was playing a part in that conference. And it seemed uh, much more prevalent of the basketball, or the football schools um, really seemed much more prevalent. And so then we began to talk about a lot of possibilities. And so it was, it came to this decision after a lot of conversations and a lot of uh, decisions about what we needed to do and where we needed to place ourselves. Does this bother, does this put the rest of the board moving out in football? To, to, to the FBS, is, is, that, is that pretty much that issue now? We are very committed to where we are in football right now. 
Father Donahue, that's I was going to get to that in retrospect. Uh, considering what went into that decision, it, it wasn't made hastily. How do you feel about the decision you made to, uh, to take a pass on it? We really didn't make a decision to take a pass on it. We looked at it very carefully, and uh, the invitation was never offered to us. Uh, so we pulled it back, and right now I'm pleased that we didn't make the decision. <laughs> um, it's, it's been a very changing environment for football, and um, I'm very pleased where Villanova is situated right now, and I think all of us as a university are very um, uh, looking forward to moving forward moving ahead with this kind of conference and uh, really putting our emphasis um, where we know they should be. Any reason, uh, any reason that uh, that number might decrease, the number seven might decrease between now and the time that you officially uh, make the move? Decrease or increase? Increase. increase? Uh, there has been a lot of conversation about other schools, but nothing definite. No particular well, names have surfaced. No, not as of yet. There's a lot of details that need to be worked out. And, and obviously I'll jump in. You know, the number seven isn't a great number for a basketball league, so we will be looking at membership issues moving forward, but again, it'll be premature to speculate on, on who those institutions or what that number might be. Father Donahue, how important is the Vegas name to Villanova? Is that something that will be involved in negotiations? There will be a lot of things involved in the negotiation. Uh, the Big East has been a, we've been part of it from its very beginning, uh, from a year after it started. Villanova has been a part of it. It has been a long part of our tradition. Um, it is important, um, and it'll be part of all the negotiations that will take place over the next several months. Vince, do you have any feel as if the football school is maybe taking it more than any institution? You know, I'm not sure at this point, Mike. Um, you know, the last three or four weeks we've been in the bunker, really, you know, on, on a lot of these issues, so I haven't really had a lot of outreach with our, our football partners on this, but I think that's something. Now it's just the seven schools, but I think I think part of the next steps in this process, now that we've officially made this move to a, a different model or a different paradigm, will be to engage people that can lead us through this process. Jay, football's been driving this bus now for a while, for obvious reasons, for financial reasons. Does it feel you know what, at all good to? I'm going to be here because we have to talk about the game. So. Because I know right. Father doesn't have to go to his mass. I appreciate him being dead. And I I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. As I know he's got to go. But if anybody has any other questions for Father, so he can, because I have to be here. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, <laughs> yes, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, does anybody have any more for Father? Uh, Father. Yes. Uh, most about the Big East uh, will the two of you miss? Well, I'll speak to that. I think uh, uh, Jay and I are probably two of the longer tenured folks in the Big East these days. Um, and uh, we go way back, and I think uh, boy, the, the, the association has served us extremely well, for sure. Uh, it's been really part of the fabric of our programs overall. But we're looking forward, and frankly, that association has created this foundation for us move forward in this next phase and move forward from a position of strength. So we're really sort of empowered by that foundation and what the future holds for us. Vince, do you know what the next step for you, for the group is? We're trying to get organized on the transition plan. So, you know, the, the, as we mentioned earlier, there are a lot of things that have to be done here in terms of membership and uh, all these different issues that need to be negotiated. And, and we're committed to doing that in an orderly fashion. So I think this week will be a week where we try to get ourselves organized and then put a plan moving forward to, to address these issues. And it will take some time. I mean, this won't happen overnight for sure. Vince, is there any, uh, who owns the Big East name? Is there any? <laughs> That's probably above my grade level at this point. <laughs> but but uh, there are, there are it, uh, the, the name itself, the bylaws do speak to that in this particular circumstance. Uh, and basically, it's going to be up discussion and negotiations. It's not clear at this point. Any more questions for Father Donahue since he's come up? Well, for, uh, for Father, for Father uh, what last question Father needs to come. 
What's the reaction from the Biggie school that everyone left behind and San San Diego disappointment and talking talk about it in the school? But, yeah. Well, to go back to the question that was asked about what we'll miss about the Big East, um, I, I think we will miss the uh, relationship we've had with some fine institutions throughout the country. Um, they have been very cordial throughout this whole process. Uh, people have expressed their opinions about what they uh, would like to see, what they were hoping they would see. Uh, nobody has expressed any contention about it. Um, I really have not had an opportunity to talk to the other presidents of the institutions outside of the other six that have uh, been part of this decision. Um, Mike Oresco, the Present uh, Commissioner of the Big East has been very helpful. Um, he is a fine gentleman and has offered a, a great deal of guidance to us in this process. But uh, all of the all of the other presidents have, over the years, have been very supportive, and we've had a great relationship with all of them in those schools and developing rivalries with them. And that will be what I miss the most. And as of now, um, we'll move forward with this. Uh, this week, it will start. We will start putting the pieces into place and see where uh, this road will lead us. But I am very hopeful that it will lead us to a to once again to, to be a, a very prominent national institution um, that has um, a great basketball program to offer. Thank you. Can I just ask one final one? Were you fearful years ago when BC started when, the, when teams or schools started leaving to go to the ACC? Was that when you started being a number of years now that you've started to worry about the fact that this could happen? Did you think about that years ago? Well, when I came into office, it wasn't happening. So uh, that was under somebody else's regime. Uh, it, it seemed very stable. Uh, so seven, I've been in the office now for seven years. So it, things started happening with the departure, for me at least, for the departure of Syracuse and Pitts, Pittsburgh. Uh, that was the, the beginning part of the exodus from the Big East. And, and